when my son was murdered, he was 17. The kids that murdered him was 18 and 19. We began with Operation Crime and Justice and some personal insight on the local spike in violent juvenile crime from a woman who has lived it. New numbers show that juvenile homicide in Nashville is rising. But those who work with teenagers say there's really no easy fix. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker outside Metro Juvenile Court in East Nashville with what victims families would like to see from Nashville as well as state leaders. Talia Monjay says her son had just graduated from Hillsborough High School one month before he was shot and killed after leaving a friend's birthday party. This mother says her young son had so much more life to live and she doesn't want any other families to go through something like this. This Nashville mother forever changed by the loss of her son. 12 years later, you know, I still have my moments. He was gunned down by two teens 12 years ago. We celebrated him going to prom in April. His graduation in May and early June, he was dead. Talia Manje used that pain as a driving force to help other families, starting an organization in honor of her son, which caters to youth through community programs and helps parents look out for red flags or warning signs. Give them something else to look forward to other than guns, drugs, poverty, uh, crime. What are we going to do? What are our leaders going to do in the city of Nashville other than, you know, watch the city grow? On Tuesday, we spoke with the juvenile court judge Sheila Calloway on her efforts to tackle teenage crime after we found that four teenagers in Nashville were shot and killed in the last three weeks. Accountability isn't always equal to incarceration. Judge Sheila Calloway says the system has several programs ranging from addiction recovery to gang resistance interventions. Positive programs for our youth to hold them accountable, to make sure that they understand what they did was wrong, and to help them to learn not to do those behaviors again. So what happens to those who don't respond to programs? With things becoming violent, um, or more violent in recent weeks, do the consequences become greater? So again, I think it does each depend on each case. Judge Calloway says there are times when she'll have to make that call to send someone to adult jail if they're not responding. And some state lawmakers are taking a little bit of a different approach on this. Last House session, state reps passed the Parental Accountability Act. This would allow the juvenile courts to find the parents up to $1,000 for certain acts of these kids. We have more of this information on our website, fox17.com. For now, reporting in Nashville, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.